So here is Fifi in the CCI 2 star, uh, moving back up after doing the modified for a little bit. Now, as you can see, I'm not wearing a jacket on her. She is the first to go in this division um, because it was pretty warm and they had wave jackets. Uh, also, I have her in the jumping saddle um, because currently that's what she's most comfortable in uh, until she gets her custom dressage saddle in. So I'm having to sit a lot of this test in the jumping saddle, um, which she's handling pretty well, but it's not the easiest as it kind of, you know, it puts you in a little bit different position um, with your leg in versus your dressage saddle. Uh, so, but she's being a pretty good girl. She's very sensitive. Um, and that's always been something I've been working on is to get her to relax and to come through. And it's something that she's gotten a lot better in lately. And poor thing too, there's like a ton of butterflies. It seemed like they were chasing us in this test. And so every now and then you'll see her head kind of bopping around and it's because she was getting a little bit upset about the butterflies. Um, but the, that first leg build was pretty good. You see, she gets, she can get a little wiggly. She can be so sensitive to just the slightest movement um, sometimes. So again, work in progress. And then to our second leg yield. This way our shoulders get a little bit ahead. I was almost on more of a diagonal, but there's still crossover for enough for uh, this two-star test. And then into our lengthening, which she has a very nice, you can start to see the suspension coming off the floor from the hind end. She's a very powerful little girl. And then into our walk. And into our free walk, which she's a very good girl. I got an eight on this. Um, she really stretches down and over tracks. She has a very nice walk. And again, you can see where that front foot lands and then how the hind leg really over tracks. And then coming into a working walk. Into a halt. And again, not quite square, but it, she's a sensitive little thing, so I have to make sure how much pressure I can put on her. And then into the rain back and in the trot. So a little delayed because it's supposed to be uh, from the rain back directly into trot, but again, it's getting there. Uh, canter transition over the center line was pretty good. She has a lovely canter. And then, again, you can kind of see the bugs bouncing around. And then we go into our lengthening canter. And always working on straightness for her is kind of the biggest thing that I've been working on. Straightness and suppleness and relaxation. Kind of all the things. But um, now going into the giving... She was very good there. And down into the transition to trot. And then into our half 20 meter circle. Canter over the center line. I kind of shaved that off a little bit as that was supposed to be to V to P, but I kind of fudged it a little bit. Judges didn't quite catch it. Then into my lengthening and back. Again, I can work on a little bit more shoulder four, but she's getting better and better. She's getting stronger and stronger. And then into our diagonal. Again, giving the hand. And then taking it back. And she's very, very good for that into our down transition. And I was very happy to come <laughs> down the center line. So I didn't have to quite have to do so much sitting trot. But coming down the center line into our final halt. 
She was a very good girl. I was very pleased. We scored a 31 and we were sitting in third place. I'm going into show jump. Uh, again, I have the liquid titanium mask on her, which seems to help her stay a little bit more relaxed, especially in the warm up. She can get pretty um, anxious. Uh, and she's a sensitive horse, so she hates having hind boots on, um, from what I found. And uh, she's quite a fun little thing to jump around the show jump. So she's very much like jumping a little jumping bean. And I have to just work on trying to keep her relaxed. And I use a lot of voice uh, in my round. And sometimes she almost listens too much, <laughs> too well to me. Um, she kind of backed off a little bit there through the in and out, but I said, come on, girl, let's go. And she was very good. And coming through this turn, again, that's where I said, whoa, and she really listened really well. And this height is fairly easy for her. And then again, I said, whoa, here, and she almost thought, I think, she was done, <laughs> but we had to do this outside line and then coming to the final triple bar or not the triple, but the triple combination. And I knew she was going to eat this up because while she's on the smaller side, uh, she does, she can get a really big stride in there. Uh, so super pleased, was really happy with that round and she's really fun to ride, really spicy little thing. And then on to the cross country. This was probably one of her most relaxed rounds. And um, she was really good at listening to me and listening to my voice. And it felt like I didn't have to really do too much to kind of rebalance her in places. Um, and she's always <laughs> been one to really listen. Those ears really flicker back and forth. She's always wanting to check in. Um, but here she was really great coming down that hill. I didn't have to really touch her too much and uh, pinged right over that chevron and then going up the hill back where you can't see us. There was a big ditch and wall back back in there, kind of straight down the hill and she was super over that. And she really is a lot of fun because she's like riding a little Maserati, a little sports car. And she's very powerful in that hind end. So uh, it helps when riding to up banks or anything like that because it's easy for her. So coming to this combination in the water, get a good shot up the bank. And she makes that look really easy. Then coming to the last, second to last fence, really good shot. And she's, again, she's so fun to ride because it's kind of like... When she jumps, you, she jumps you into the clouds a little bit. And finishing over the last fence, she easily made time and moved into second place. So really, really pleased with Fifi and how well she did this weekend.